Hi, I'm Beryl, and today is June 20th, World Refugee Day. And in the spirit of that, I am using this video as an opportunity to raise money for my sister's charity, the Uzruk Fund. It is a non-profit school in Jordan for Syrian refugees. The Syrian crisis is 11 years old, and while you may not be hearing about it as much, it is still ongoing. Being a refugee doesn't end with the news cycle. The goal is to raise $15,000. This money will go towards teacher salaries and new art programs and materials for the year to come, like the film workshop that I did when I visited the school this past October. So today from my living room, I'm going to share food stories not just about the Syrian community, but also the Jordanian community that has welcomed them in. Um, actually, Beryl, sorry, but I'm going to interrupt you real quick. We are not in my living room. We are in Jordan. Uzruk Jordan, to be more specific, and to be even more specific, at my sister's school, the Uzruk Fund. Oh. Hi! I've been here for the week because we're helping open up the new building. I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour. This is the library. They have an IT room. There's a Montessori preschool, math. Arabic, English, and it's lunchtime. And that is actually a good segue. This is a food channel, and so with the help of my sister, I'm going to be showing you three short food stories from around Uzruk. This is a small town, but a diverse town, and there are some amazing food cultures and traditions here that I'm really excited to share with you. When you're in Jordan, it doesn't matter what time of day it is or what you're doing, you're gonna be drinking coffee or tea. So let's start the stories with a coffee story. احنا من من طبعنا وتقاليدنا احنا يا البدو والعرب نحب القهوه القهوه بالهاء انا اسمي نهايه من الاردن من منطقه الازرق اليوم بدنا نشرب القهوه العربيه على طريق اصولتنا اللي احنا نعملها بالنسبه للقهوه هاي نعملها من القهوه الخضراء مع الهيء البهار بهار القهوه اللي نحطه معاها نحمصها وندقها وبعدين نعملها على نسويها على الغاز على النار يعني على كل انحاء العرب الدول العربيه تعمل القهوه هاي يعملوها للضيوف للمناسبات لما تكون في مشكله بين القبائل تجي الشيخ يصبوا له قهوة يحكي لا يحطها لما يتصالحوا خلص يشربوا القهوة ثاني شيء هاي القهوة عنا يعني يومية أهم شيء بالقهوة الهيل بعدين نصب القهوة فوقيه يطعم لأنه بدون هيل ما تزبط إلا ودها هيل لها فوائد انك ما تنامي تريح اعصابك او التسليه صحباتك ومن اهلي يعني كان ابوي يجيب كميات وامي تعمل لما يجوا علينا ضيوف انا حسه يعني طعامها كويس وزاكي اوكي اوكي just finished filming, a little bit sweaty. Apologies, there was an open fire and my camera. <laughs> this was a really cool experience. Um, the coffee that I've had here so far has been very sweet and or Nescafe, and this one has no sugar, so. <laughs> It's strong, but it's not bitter because the cardamom has this like really beautiful spice going and like it doesn't really taste like coffee when I think about what coffee tastes like. It tastes like tea coffee, but it's definitely something that feels really special. Plus, I mean, I am sitting in a tent in the desert drinking very freshly ground coffee with cardamom in it, so it is pretty special. <laughs> There's a thing when you're done, you kind of go like this, but I'm not done with this yet. 
The next dish I'm going to talk about is actually a Syrian dish. Here in Uzrek, there's a very large population of Syrian refugees, and they brought a lot of their food culture with them. So let's learn about makdus. هي من التراث القديم جدودنا أول كانوا يعملوها نحن استمرنا بهذا الشيء أنا اسمي أم خالد من سوريا من حمص موجودة بالمنطقة الأزرق بالأردن هي أكلة مشهورة كثير عندنا بسوريا مكونات المقدوس هو عبارة عن باذنجان فلفل توم جوز وزيت هو يعني مقدوس هو وجبة الفطور مع حواضر يعني مثل لبنة بندورة هيك شاي كاس شاي طيب خبز تنور طيب كمان هو يطعمه في هيك شوية حدودي حار مع شوية حموضة طيب يعني هو مو قاسي ما بيقرمش يعني طري طعمته كتير زاكي وطيب أنا تعلمته مع أمي وأنا يعني بنت قبل ما أزوج وأول طلعتي تعلمت من أمي كيف طريقته كيف بيعمله يوم بنشتبه نحن والأم والأخوات وهيك طريقة التحضير ويوم نشتغل فيه حلو يعني وبعد ما تنتي تاكلي طعمته طيبي وبتعباني فيه هذا شيء حلو يعني وذكرى كثير حلوة يوم كنا بسوريا وما زلنا اليوم كمان Okay, um, apologies again if I'm sweaty It was very hot in the kitchen <laughs> filming this is my first time having fresh makdus. I've had this once before when Lexi brought it back from Jordan, but I've never seen it be made. And I didn't realize how much red pepper went into it, which I'm very excited about because I do love spicy food. Ooh, it has some spice. It's really good. It's got like a big kick of hot pepper and then the eggplant has this like meaty texture. So it's really kind of like, Oh, it's a little spicy. <laughs> when you preserve something like an eggplant, it gets really soft and the flavor of the eggplant gets a little bit bolder. And so it's got like a really good balance of eggplant and spiciness and like saltiness. With some yogurt, this would be very good. For breakfast, you've had this for breakfast, it's very nice. It's cool to have it like fresh out of the jug. <laughs> It's interesting having these dishes that have their backgrounds in Syria brought over into Jordan and becoming a part of the culture here as well. And this is definitely a dish that's worth sharing and it's delicious and I highly recommend everybody try it. <laughs> we are ending these three food stories with Jordan's national dish. If you come to Jordan and you don't eat mensef, did you really come to Jordan? الأكلة الشعبية الموجودة في الأردن اللي هي أكلة المنسف كون المنسف من اللحم البلدي من الأرز من الجميد الجميد اللي هو لبن بكون بنشفوه بعملوه جميد وبمرسوه أو بحطوه على الخلاط وبحطوه على اللحمة أنا نوف الفايز من المملكة الأردنية الهاشمية مدينة اسمها قضاء الأزرق هو المنسف طبخته مش معقدة بالعكس هو سهل وهو كرم للضيافة نشترك إحنا كسيدات بيكون كذا ست بيشتغلوا بيطبخوا مع بعض بتعاونوا مع بعض بيشتغلوا مع بعض طبعا المنسف تعلمته أطبخ من أمي يعني من علمتني أمي إنه كيف نطبخ المنسف على نفس الخطوات إحنا مشينا ونفس الطعم نفس المذاق طيب جدا رأس الخروف لازم ينحط بالمنسف هو من الأساسيات لازم ينحط هو إكرام للضيف لما يجي مسؤول أو ضيف لازم نكرمه لازم تكون رأس الذبيحة اللي هي الخروف على المنسف بالإضافة إلى الكبدة وإكرام للضيف يعني أكثر اهتمام وضيافة للضيف الأكل كمان يعني الأكل هو رح يكون طبعا أكيد مجموعات 
اللي بيأكل المنسف من رجال سواء رجال أو نساء هذا ما ما يولد الألفة والمحبة ما بين والترابط الأسري ما بين العائلات الأردنية في الأردن. <تصفيق> Okay, so I have finished eating the mensaf and here, here's like my thought. First of all, this is a very heavy meal. It was so cool being a part of the cooking and also cooking it. The smell of the jameed is so good. It's like a really kind of stinky blue cheese, but like, I love that. The tongue tasted pretty meaty. It wasn't my favorite part. I liked the cheek more, but I tried it. <laughs> this definitely is like a really special dish. Probably will never make it myself but I loved experiencing it. I had an amazing week. I learned so much. Shukran Katir to everybody who helped me out. I also did a small film program with some of the eldest girls at my sister's school. Their video is right here. I hope that you watch it and show them some support. With that, I will see you all next week. Bye.